Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a review of the Moleskine City Notebooks. First I'm going to show you this uh, New York City Notebook and then I'm going to show you how to use it with this already used Paris Notebook. So look, first let's take a look at the New York one. This one is a hardcover and it is 3.5 by 5.5 inches or 9 by 14 centimeters. It is, let's see, it's 220 pages. It has a New York City map, it has a subway map, it has um, 34 blank pages, 96 tab pages, and then 32 detachable sheets. All right, let's take a look inside. It has, of course, an elastic strap like every other moleskin. Let's take this off. It comes with three page markers instead of the usual one page marker which is a really nice feature let's see what it has in the back the quality control sticker it has this little paper here that says that in case you notice any errors with the maps to let them know it comes with the history of moleskin just like any other moleskin notebook and then it comes with tracing paper, which I found extremely, extremely helpful. So, let's see how many sheets there are. Probably around 10. This is really see-through tracing paper, and it's really great to write on with a pencil. And, uh, let's see, it has a pocket in the back. And here it has labels for the tabs, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So, those are the labels. All right, let's check out the mo notebook. Like any other moleskin, in case of loss, please return to. We can put in a reward. You can put in your information on the first page. And then, table of contents, map. And here it has the map for New York City. First, you have the overview right here. And actually expand this. It gives you a better idea. And then back here, you have a subway map that also is extendable and pulls out. And here you have uh, transportation information before going, page for your notes, for your travel planning. And here some information on measures, some national sizes, and here you have the actual city map, which is really extensive and great. So let's through this real quick. So I can really take notes on here, which I found very useful when I used this for Paris. Of course, the Paris notebook, not this one. This one's a new one for my upcoming New York trip. Okay, let's get to the end here. And then you have a index for all the streets in case you wanna look it up. Just go back here and see this, you know, like the, so you look at the street and then which page it's on because these are actually numbered here. It says here number page 20 and then you have the grid here, just like any other map. So there's all the streets street index and then here you have the blank pages I believe it was uh, 34 or so I personally use these for um, just you know journaling and then back here you have the tabbed pages first it starts off with places legends recipes it says it right here so it kind of suggests what to use it for for bars winery restaurants coffee shops and here it's tab for lodging and then here likes dislikes general information and back here books music movies that you enjoyed from your trip or something like that but you can individualize it because you have these labels and on these you can write and then back here 
you have this all over again with um, blank tabs so you can label those and then you know just make notes of all the things that are important to you for your trip and in the back you have the detachable pages for loose notes which I have never really used but you know you never know and these are let's see how many those are these are 32 detachable sheets here. So, this one's sticking together a little. So, yeah, they're all perforated. Let me show you. And it says New York on every single one of them. I don't know why, but that's, that's just how it's designed. The paper quality is so so. It's nothing special. It's okay. It's just like any other regular moleskin these days. And then it's like a thicker paper or cardboard. In the back and then you have the pocket um, so my two cents on this is that I find this extremely useful and as I said I've used this in Paris before and um, it takes a lot of work up front to be honest I think I set about for a week and put in all the things that I found online that were of interest the bars the coffee shops I wanted to go to the places that people recommend that they see great hidden patios and you know from all the blogs I did a lot of research and I put it in this one little pocket notebook instead of hauling lots of stuff around or doing research on the go which takes up a lot of time so this is how I used it I went to the map and then I put in all the things that interested me that I found that I was curious about and I just put the tracing paper over it with a pencil and then I just filled it out and you know I labeled it for example B's for bar and then R is for restaurant and then I numbered them all made those small circles and then in the back for example, here's my list of coffee shops that I personally found interesting and that I wanted to check out and see instead of just going with some random best patios in Paris. Instead of just going with some random travel guide that a person wrote that might not ne necessarily have the same interests as I am. I, you know, I took all this time and wrote this myself. So there was a lot of work, but it really paid off, you know, during the trip because you save a lot of time. I mean, you can still look up things on Yelp or other websites if you, um, you know, if you're on the go, wherever you are in the city visiting, but it takes up a lot of time. And my travel time, vacation time is very precious to me. So I, I don't want to do that. This is why I've decided to buy this uh, New York notebook and fill it up as well. Also, what's great, you know, when you're in a city, you don't know. and don't necessarily want to look like a tourist if you just open this up and you, you know you walk with the map you don't not look like a tourist you're just holding this little notebook in your hand you know maybe even reading something so you're not attracting that much attention you know from any potential people that you know might not have your best interests in mind so overall I can highly recommend those notebooks it seems like they're not selling that well because I know there used to be over 20 for all kinds of different cities. Now there are only four different cities on um, the uh, Moleskin website left. And most stores don't sell them anymore. So, But you can still find those online, of course. Um, so I highly recommend those. They're great for traveling, as I said. It's a lot of work up front. But if you take the time to put it in, it really pays off while you're on vacation. So, um, yeah, that was my review of the uh, Moleskine City Notebooks. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Check out my other videos on my channel. I have a lot more reviews on notebooks. And, um, yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.